What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfella. Early morning grind with the boxing clinic, you dig? And, um, you know, Paul Mononaji's been pushing for this kind of McGregor fight, you know, ever since the sparring video was released. You know, he cried and said, release the video, release the video. And then they, you know, he knew they was going to chop it up and edit it, you know? And um, they look, make him look good. Now he's on the crusade and pushing to fight Conor McGregor now. And I want to know, do you guys, are you guys interested in seeing that fight? Um, would you buy it or would you give it a viewership? It was on, you know, regular Showtime. Um, you know, Joe Cortez, the referee um, who was retired, who helped Conor McGregor prepare for the rules with the Floyd Mayweather fight, said it has to happen. Um, is it something that you guys will, will buy, buy into? You know, as hardcore boxing fans, casual or purists? I'm um, just, you know, interested to know is anybody uh, truly interested into this fight? And because it has hype, it has a backstory. Um, and Paulie Malignaggi is at the end of his career, which, you know, will give him a ch- will, will kind of give more people a chance to, you know, think about like who would I pick? You know, with Conor McGregor, you know, most people thinking he looked dead fantastic versus Floyd, and uh, most people and other, you know, real boxing fans knowing that Floyd carried him for the most part. Um, you know, it's some intrigue there. You know, um, it's a nice little backstory. It seems that Paulie is really pushing, you know, Conor McGregor to fight him in the ring. I think McGregor kind of offered him, said, come to the cage. We well, you know Paulie was called in by Shane, uh, Sugar Shane Mosley to do the uh, the BKB, what the, the, I don't know, the BKB little, you know, the octagon kind of boxing-ish. And Paulie knows better. He's a smarter guy. He's not going out of his um, scope of support. You know, he's going to stay in boxing. And, um... You know, my personal opinion on this, I think, uh, you know, for, for McGregor, I think, you know, if he if he's really uh, entertaining this, I think it's just a simple fact that, um, you know, I don't think he wants to fight that Khabib guy that's his mandatory. I don't think it's going to make enough. I don't think it makes enough money for him to come back to UFC um, unless it's Nate Diaz 3. And Nate Diaz won a large sum of money himself, knowing that Conor McGregor going to brag in the Brinks trunk, not even tasted the real money with the boxing life. Um so I think this is probably the wisest choice for for Conor McGregor, the most lucrative choice for Conor McGregor, a chance for Conor McGregor to redeem himself in the boxing ring. I know he's kind of pushing for a Floyd rematch, but ain't nobody buying that shit. Um, says almost half Floyd. I don't know why they stopped it. He was about to get knocked out highlight reel style, but that referee saved your ass. But at the end of the day, um, him and Paulie, I mean, they got a backstory, you know. Um, it could sell. Uh, am I interested in it? Eh, I don't know. If it's on regular TV, I, I, will, I will give it a vested interest. If it's on like a Keith Thurman, Earl Spence card, I think that's a perfect time to set up. It'll be uh, doing that with that. But um, I don't know, man. Pay-per-view wise, man, I, I nah, nah. Let's just add a reduced price, and I still ain't buying it. It would have to be on a regular Showtime card, maybe regular CBS. Um, maybe Conor McGregor is too X-rated for that at this point in his career. Uh, I don't know if they can get him to tone him down for regular TV. But um, it'll be interesting to see if people want to buy. It seems like Paulie is really pushing for this fight. And I can see, and I, I can understand if Conor McGregor was pushing for it because, you know, it's no more money in UFC for him other than Nate Diaz 3. You know, he'd have made $100 million fucking around with Floyd probably. He ain't trying to go back to making two, three, four, five million dollars to fight. Uh, especially he, if he leave, I think he lives that simple life as well. He ain't trying to go backwards, you know. Or he ain't trying to take a large step backwards. And for Paulie, you know, he's just gonna let the game go, man. You know, the game don't, the game don't love no one. <laughs> and Father Time has his time. He wants his time in the shine. He wants that big fight that he never really got. You know, he wants to be on that big stage. And um, this is his opportunity. I guess he wants to seize it. Um, McGregor, this is an opportunity for him to avoid the UFC a little bit longer and and make some more money and just walk away from combat sports altogether. But I think the true love for UFC is going to take Conor McGregor back there uh, eventually. But, you know, let me know if y'all are interested into the fight. We gone.